Let's say you have a lemonade stand and you wanna make as much money as possible to save up for a vacation. You'll need to decide how much to charge for each cup of lemonade in order to maximize your profits. One way to find the most efficient and profitable solution is by defining this problem as a mathematical model and comparing different lemonade prices to different outcomes. This process is called decision optimization. It allows us to determine the best possible decision within the context of the problem. Let's write this lemonade stand scenario as a decision optimization problem. The first thing that we'll need to do is identify the problem and define the variables. We'll need to decide what the price per cup of lemonade is. And we can define that as a variable P. We'll also need to determine the number of cups of lemonade to sell, which we'll set as a variable N. P and N are going to be our decision variables. These are the variables that we can change in order to change the outcome of this problem. We'll also need to consider the cost to produce each cup of lemonade. This can include fixed costs, such as the cost of the lemonade stand itself. These are costs that don't change no matter how many cups of lemonade we produce. So we can write the fixed cost as a variable called CF. We also need to consider variable costs, which are costs that vary depending on how many cups of lemonade are produced. We can write these variable costs as CV. An example of a variable cost would be, for example, the cost of the lemons. Overall, we can use these two costs to create a cost function, which we'll call C of N, because it's the cost per the number of cups of lemonade we produce. This is going to be equal to CF plus CV times N. Now let's write our goal as a formula. Our goal is to maximize profit. That means increasing our revenue and decreasing our costs. So we want to maximize our profit. And that profit is equal to P times N minus C of N, which is our cost function. So this is the objective function of the problem. It's the objective that we need to solve, which is maximizing the profit, which is equal to revenue minus cost. However, there's one more thing that makes our lives a little harder, and those are constraints. Constraints are boundaries that we have to stay within in order for this problem to work. So for example, our one constraint in this problem is that we do not have an unlimited amount of money to build this lemonade stand. So we have a budget and we can set that as a variable equal to B. So in order for this problem to be valid, our budget B needs to be under our cost, which means that our cost function has to be less than or equal to our budget. Overall, the goal of this problem is to maximize our profit, which is equal to revenue minus costs, such that we don't exceed our budget. To make the most amount of money, we can try different prices and quantities of lemonade to see which combinations result in the most amount of profit. We just need to make sure that we don't spend more than our budget. While we could solve a problem like this by hand, the advantage of writing a problem in this way is that it's easier for computers to understand. And there are a variety of solvers available that can solve decision optimization problems, including linear, nonlinear, and mixed integer programming. Overall, decision optimization has important applications in a variety of fields, including supply chain management, healthcare, and finance. By using decision optimization, we can quickly and easily solve business problems.